Yes, sir! The Dallas Mavericks just had a great offseason. What's up, MDB fam? We back with another video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. New NBA videos every week. So the Dallas Mavericks just had a great offseason that pushed them to being one of the top four teams in the West. It all started with the draft. They picked up three new players in the draft. They got Josh Green, they got Tyrell Terry, and they got Tyler Bay. All three players are looking like great potential players. So we got Josh Green. He's a 3 and D player, very defensive-minded wing, great size on him. A lot of draft analysts or experts have good things to say about him. Tyrell Terry, a lot of draft experts saying he might be one of the best shooters in the draft. He's a bit skinny. He's about 170 pounds. So he has some weight that he needs to put on. But if he can put on some weight and develop his jump shooting, he might be able to replace some of that shooting that Dallas Mavericks lost when they traded Seth Curry. So Tyrell Terry looks good. Josh Green looks good. And then Tyler Bay, he's another guy like Josh Green, a 3 and D guy. And this is something that the Mavericks really need. As we saw last year, when Dorian Finney-Smith wasn't on the court, their 3 and D wasn't really there as much. They need big wings that can kind of guard. So these two guys that they got from the draft, once they develop a bit and get some more experience in the league, I think they have the potential to be good wings and add to that defensive perimeter defense that Mavericks really need. But they also picked up some more perimeter defense when they traded Seth Curry and picked up Josh Richardson. Josh Richardson from the Philadelphia 76ers used to play on the Miami Heat. Had one of his worst seasons last season. Didn't produce as efficiently as the Sixers fans were hoping. But on average, he's a great shooter. Not a great shooter, but an efficient enough shooter. He's good enough shooting. He's a great defender. He can attack closeouts. And he can do some weak side pick and roll playmaking type stuff so he can do some minimal playmaking but all in all I think he's a great fit next to Luka and the Mavericks in general as I said earlier they need 3 and D guys that can play when Dorian Finney-Smith is not playing and I think Josh Richardson is going to be a great fit next to Luka in the starting lineup starting lineup you're going to have players like Luka, Josh Richardson, Dorian Finney-Smith, Tim Hardaway Jr., KP when he gets healthy, Dwight Powell when he gets healthy. So you have some good players that you can throw in the starting lineup for the Mavericks. So the Mavericks overall, they address needs. They got they got two young potential 3 and D guys, and they got Josh Richardson who's ready to start for them as a 3 and D guy. They got rid of Delon Wright. They got rid they got rid of Justin Jackson. Those two guys didn't really live up to the expectations that Mavericks fans, I'm sure, had hoped. Um, like me, I'm a fan of Darrell Wright or Delon Wright. Sorry, Darrell Wright's his brother. I'm a fan of Delon Wright. He played well for the Raptors, but the Mavericks fans, what I see online, they don't see like they really enjoyed his play. Mavericks fans, can you let me know in the comments down below what was wrong with Delon Wright? Like, what did he not do for you guys? What What was his disappointments? Or were you guys happy with Delon Wright? Because what I see online is that Mavericks fans didn't really enjoy him or Justin Jackson, and they were happy to see him go. So Mavericks fans, let me know what was wrong with Delon Wright. What was he not doing? So anyways, you got rid of those guys. You bring in James Johnson. You bring in Josh Richardson. James Johnson, he's just a good locker room guy, does a little bit of everything, can play make minimally, can play some five, can shoot minimally. Like he just does a little bit of everything. He's just one of those glue guys, does all the hard work. He can be an enforcer kind of guy. Like, he's a karate master. He has a black belt. So they got James Johnson. They just got a lot of good pieces, though. So they did good with their trades with getting Josh Richardson. They did good in their draft with getting those three guys that are all going to help the Mavericks going into the future. The one area that the Mavericks didn't do that well, and it's been an area of concern lately, is the free agency. So free agency, the Mavericks got Wes Windu from the Magic. They got Willie Cauley-Stein and they got Trey Burke. So Trey Burke and Willie were already on the team. They just brought those guys back. Wessa Windu was a new pickup. Wessa Windu is a guy that comes from the Magic. He's a forward. Um, I don't really know much about Wessa Windu. I hear that he has potential, but he still needs to put some stuff together in the league. So guys, let me know what you guys know about Wessa Windu. Is he a good fit for the Mavericks? Do you guys have faith in him? Or is he just the type of guy you take a flyer on? So they got Wessa Windu. Bring back Willie Cauley-Stein. He's going to get a lot of minutes. Him and Boban are going to get a lot, of, a lot of minutes at the center while Dwight Powell is still recovering and KP is still recovering because they're not trying to rush KP back from his injury that he picked up in the playoffs because you know that KP is the type of guy, like, 
he can be very injury prone and the last thing you want to do is rush him back from an injury especially with a shortened off season so the the, the mavericks are going to take their time bringing back porzingis but all in all the Mavericks are looking good. The one thing is free agency. So the issue that I had with free agency, the, the best player that they got was Wessa Windu, and they brought back two players that they already had. Me, personally, I would have liked to see the Mavericks do a bit better in free agency. This is a bit of an area of concern for the Mavericks because last year, the best player that they brought in was Delon Wright, and this year, the best player that they brought in from free agency is Wessa Windu. So it's like... With the Mavericks, I think there's a disconnect between free agents and the Mavericks. I don't know what it is, but it feels like a lot of guys use the Mavericks as leverage and, and talks with other teams, but they don't end up actually coming to the Mavericks. Like We saw this with DeAndre Jordan when, he, when the Clippers were fighting with the Mavericks. They were banging on his door and stuff. The first time the Mavericks tried to sign DeAndre Jordan. So DeAndre Jordan ended up using the Mavericks as leverage to get a deal with the Clippers. Then we saw this again with Danny Green last year, where the Lakers were trying to sign Danny Green, and Danny Green was using his offer from the Mavericks as leverage to get a higher deal with the Lakers. Then we saw the same thing again with Marc Gasol, where he was using the Mavericks and Golden State as leverage to get a higher offer from the Lakers, which he ended up getting. So it's like, my thing is, with the Mavericks, are these players really interested in coming to play for Dallas? Or are they just using the Mavericks as leverage? Because two free agencies in a row now, the Mavericks haven't been able to bring in real special talent alongside Luka. This is an area of concern for me because I know going into 2021, the Mavericks have some free agent, free agent moves they want to get. We all know the Mavericks are targeting Giannis, make it an all-Euro team with KP, Giannis, and Luka. So we know about that. Giannis still hasn't signed his extension, so it's still a possibility that the Mavericks can sign him in free agency. I'm just, I don't know, Mavericks fans, are you guys worried about the Mavericks' ability to sign free agents, or is it just me? Am I just overreacting? I, I just want to see players who actually have interest in joining the Mavericks join the Mavericks. Like, I'm tired of seeing guys being linked to the Mavericks in free agency rumors. Like, I actually want to see the Mavericks get some of these guys. But anyways, that's just my opinion. I think the Mavericks are now a top four team in the West. You got teams like the Clippers, the Lakers, the Nuggets, the Blazers, and the Mavericks. I think the Mavericks are right there in the top four. Guys, let me know how you feel about the Mavericks offseason in the comments down below. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about their new pickups and Josh Richardson. And how far do you guys think they're going to go in the playoffs this year? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, make sure you guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. New videos every week.